So here's a lesson on relative frequency. We're going to take some notes first and then we're going to look at some exercises. So the notes say relative frequency measures the proportion of times an event has a certain given outcome. So for example, we've got a weird shaped object there. So it's a bit like a die, but it's not a regular six sided thing. Um, and all of the sides are a bit irregular. So we can't assign a particular probability too easily to the chance of getting a one or two or three or four or five. So we're going to write in the notes, for example, if you throw this weirdly shaped object and you can draw it a thousand times and it lands on five, 363 times, then we can say that the relative frequency is 363 out of a thousand or 363 thousandths as a fraction, which as a decimal is 0 0.363. That's just 363 divided by a thousand. And you can use relative frequency to estimate probability experimentally. So although we can't easily calculate what the probability of a five is, we can do the experiment a thousand times and get an estimate from the relative frequency that the probability is 0 0.363. It's an experimental probability. Okay, we're going to look at some My I Maths exercises now. Okay, so we're going to look at the My I Maths exercise called Relative Frequency. And it says, question one, fair, unfair. The spinner is spun a large number of times. The results are in the table. Use these results to work out the relative frequency of four. So we've observed a four, you can see here, 70 times. And we need to add up the number of times that we've spun the thing in the first place. So we'll just go back to our notes and write something about this. So in my book, I've put a nice heading for the exercise, My iMaths Relative Frequency, and I've added up the number of trials. So that's uh, 72 plus 71 plus 66 plus so on, all the times we've thrown the um, object, and that comes to 560 times that we've done it. So 560 trials is the total. And the number of times we got a four was 70 times. So the relative frequency of four was 70 out of 560. 70 560ths, which when you do 70 divided by 560 is 0 0.125. So my final answer that I'm going to put in the box is 0 0.125. So on here, I've had to round the 0 0.125 to 0 0.13, but that's okay. Next question, is the spin affair yes or no? Well, you're expecting to get um, around the same thing each time, but obviously there's gonna be some random variation about that. Um, it would be very strange if you got exactly the same numbers of one, two, threes, fours, five, sixes, seven and eighths each time. So looking at these, just a bit of common sense and intuition tells you they're not very far from one another. So I'm going to say, yes, the spinner is fair. Oh, and I've just noticed at the bottom, give your answer to two decimal places where appropriate. So that's all good. This dice, or this die, it should say, is rolled a large number of times. The results are in the table and you've got a four sided pyramid thing. And then you're getting um, a one ninety nine times a 294 times, a 3 102 times, and a 4 205 times, so a lot more. So immediately I'm saying, no, that one's not fair. If you're throwing it, well, 500 times and you're getting twice as much um, of one thing as any of the others. Um, so it's, a, it's a, an oddly unfairly balanced object. Use these results to estimate the probability of scoring more than two. Okay, so more than two means three or, three or four. So that's happened 102 times and 
for a 3 and 205 times for a 4. So I'm going to go back and write something about that on my exercise book. So in my exercise book I've written uh, the probability of a 3 or a 4. Well we observed a 3 102 times and we observed a 4 205 times and that's out of all of the times we threw the thing which was 99 plus 94 plus the 102 plus the 205. So that comes to 307 out of 500. So I've written that the probability of getting more than a 2, i.e. a 3 or a 4, is 307 out of 500, which as a decimal works out to 0 0.614. So that's what I'm writing in my exercise book. Over on my iMaths, so I filled in 0 0.61. I've rounded the 0 0.614 to two decimal places and then in this case we're saying it's not fair if we're throwing the thing 500 times and getting twice as much of a four as anything else then throwing it 500 times intuitively at least and there are more sophisticated ways of evaluating this that you'll learn later on but intuitively it seems that it's definitely not fair so that's uh, that's that let's mark it and six out of six. On to question two. So in my notebook, I have copied out the table and I've added everything up to see that the total is 100. So the first question was, what is the probability of uh, the things lasting 10 hours or less? So the number of times we observed 10 hours or less was these two, the 13 and the 18. So that's happened out of 100 times. So 13 plus 18 out of 100. 13 plus 18 divided by 100 as a fraction. And that's 0 0.31. So my first answer that I'm going to fill in is 0 0.31. The next question asks for the probability of between 10 and 20. Well, we've, uh, we've observed bet between 10 and 20 happening 40 times. So that's 40 times out of 100, 40 hundredths, or 0 0.4 as a fraction. The last question asks us the number that you would expect out of 500 to last for over 10 hours. Well, first of all, I calculated the probability of a randomly selected one lasting over 10 hours. Um, and the number that lasted over 10 hours that we observed in the table was 40 plus 18 plus 11. So that's 40 plus 18 plus 11 out of 100 comes to 0 0.69. So our experimental probability of these lasting over 10 hours is 0 0.69. And then we've got 500 of them. So out of the 500, if each of them has a 0 0.69 probability of lasting over 10 hours, then the number that we expect to last over 10 hours, and we can use this notation E brackets over 10 hours, so the expectation of the number lasting over 10 hours is 500 times 0 0.69, and that comes to 345. So we would expect... 345 of them to last for over 10 hours. So I filled those in on the My Maths. Estimate the probability that a battery of this type will last for 10 hours or less. That's 0 0.31. Last between 10 and 20 hours. That's 0 0.4. And then the number that we expect to last more than 10 hours out of 500, 345. So that's done in the my eye maths. Let's mark it. But don't forget to also write it out in your books.